Yo, what is going on guys? So I haven't done a regular intro in a bit, but anyways, welcome to episode 122 of the Iron Man series, and as usual, please enjoy today's episode. Alright, just hit uh, 70kc now with a Mystic Fire Staff. Ooh, see you later, Core. Ooh, man, I almost forgot to turn the recorder, dude. Yes, 97 farming. So, I don't know what it is, but I actually like farming. It's a pretty enjoyable skill. You know, spend uh, 10 minutes out of your day just to plant some stuff and then harvest it for some XP. Always nice. So, I'm not sure if I have enough like seeds uh, to 99, but, you know, whatever trees and fruit trees I got, I'm just going to keep planting it and uh, see, you know, if we can get the 99 farming eventually. This is really good. If you finish Tybal 1A, you can buy yourself this cleaning cloth right here. And uh, this cloth basically just removes whatever stack that's poisoned ammunition wise and just cleans it all in one go. And bam, all cleaned up. So I also did this for the Rune Dart Plus Plus that I got from the Metal Dragons. They're really nice on Iron Man because the Rune Dart's poison, I can't use the blowpipe with it, but if you clean it, you can use it. So really good for the blowpipe. Got a hard clue scroll from AFK Fishing, so yeah, hopefully we can get some uniques or like master clue scroll requirements out of it. Nice! We got a Ceridoman Chaps. I don't really have that many Chaps, so I'm pretty much certain that this is a unique item. First kill of the day for Soul Runes, nice. So I decided to bring a Suffer Ring Switch as well, and uh, this is my first kill with it, and I gotta say, it's actually uh, pretty easy to switch into. I'm mainly only switching to the rain though when I need to eat, you know, otherwise when I'm just uh, switching between my attacks and his attacks. For defense, I only switch between the shield and the wand, but yeah. The ring's uh, an extra good defense. I've noticed massive difference. Come on, medium clue! Oh yeah, baby, medium clue. <laughs> you see, that was worth it, guys. See ya! Yeah, I've improved a lot, so I don't really use as much food. Oh, yes! Woohoo! Yes! Baby! Holy elixir! Come here, man. Oh. Kill number 88. Ah, damn, dude. That That's the type of feeling I'm looking for. Woohoo! Yes! Okay, okay. We got the unblessed spear shield, and now we got the elixir, so. Okay, can I add this? Or do I need to be at an altar? Oh, yes! Nice, dude. Hey, here we go. Blood Spear Shield. Mmm. Okay, all we need now is a sigil and yeah, the rest is history, bro. Alright, here we go. What's the drop? Spear Shield! <laughs> God damn, that's so many Spear Shields, dude. Alright, well, for our 90th KC, we got another uh, Spear Shield. Pretty common drops, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, was it worth it? I don't know. I punched it to death, though. This better be a good drop. Oh my goodness, wow. GG, that's my uh, second spirit shield of the day. What the heck, man? Why do you keep getting so many of these? That's basically enough for all the sigils. Okay, well, I just hit 100 KC. So, overall, so far, we got three unblessed spirit shields and one elixir. But yeah, damn, that took, a, you know, quite a long time, actually, to get 100 kills with. Alright, for the last kill of the day... I get me some uh, sharks, which is nice, you know. 20 plus kills today, I think. So I've been doing a lot of timing for Corporal Beast just to see if my setup and my theory and all that stuff is actually paying off. And it 100% is. So I'm not just timing one kill and then extrapolating it, you know, to see what it would be like in an hour. I actually literally time the hour just to see how many kills I would get in the hour and it usually ends up being uh, around 6 so that's crazy because remember if you watch like uh, the episode where I just started doing Corporal Beast like you know as practice I was only getting a kill about once every I think it was 14 minutes so it was only like 4 and a little more kills an hour and I was like okay that's so you know little that's gonna suck, but now I'm just getting 6 kills an hour. And even though I did time this, there might be some timing bias where you know I concentrate a little more, but it's pretty late, and I'm basically letting my muscle memory just do the work for me. Like, I'm literally talking while, you know, doing this Corporal Beast. And yeah, 
I really don't have to think too much. So that is quite amazing to see. I don't think I'll be able to beat more than 6 kills an hour just because I really honestly do not see any real way that you can get more than 6 kills an hour to be honest at Corpo B solos. So yeah, this might just be the peak already. So the reason why I needed to figure out what my consistent kills per hour Corporal Beast was is to see whether or not, you know, if it will be realistic to camp for like a sigil. So the Elijah is 1 in 4000 and I realized that, wow, that's ridiculously too rare. I don't think it would be realistic to actually camp for something like that since getting 6 kills an hour is like the maximum and yeah, that would realistically take forever for something like that. But the Spectral and the Arcane, they're both about 1 in 1,300, so uh, the chance of me getting one of either of those more common sigils is about 1 in like 600-ish. So I was thinking if I were to camp, you know, Corporal Beast, let's say for like a Spectral Arcane, then on average I really probably could have a good shot at getting one of those by around 600 kills. Since I am consistently doing 6 kills an hour, that means it would take me around 100 hours on average to get either you know the arcane or the spectral so here's a little interesting uh, food statistics so far when it comes to a uh, corporal beast here we go check out the boss log for corporal beast i have done 115 kills and based on my trading sticks i have 70,000, so i had a hundred thousand and i used 30,000. that means i purchased 3,000 world quambarns and i obviously used them already and I have 500 left. So in 115 Corporal Beast kills, I used about 2,500 Quan Bonds. And of course, I used quite a bit of Sharks as well, but I don't know exactly the stats on that. Uh, I think I had like 14,000 Sharks. I definitely used more Sharks than I used the Quan Bonds. So maybe I used uh, closer to like 3,000 Sharks or something. So yes, this boss definitely requires the most food out of any boss I've ever done in terms of just getting one kill. So I definitely do not use as much food per kill nowadays at Corporal Beast versus like the first two days I did Corporal Beast. So I was kind of alarmed, you know, when I saw that my food was dropping like crazy fast, but uh, it's definitely slowing down a lot more since I know how to like efficiently kill this boss now and, you know, minimize the amount of damage I take. Mmm, this one's a slightly tougher kill. Oh, what? Renar Seed. That's probably the one of the best drops, I guess. I didn't even remember them dropping Renar Seeds, though. Okay. You know, Pure Potion's gonna probably need to plant these. Alright, that kill was super easy. Damn, I, like, used one inventory of my own and, like, five sharks. Damn. That's crazy, dude. Hey, nice. On uh, kill 120, I got my cannonballs. But that's another 2,000. Okay, let me see if the cannonballs actually have changed. Uh, let's see. So, I am slowly but surely losing cannonballs. But, yeah, the Corporal Beast is almost upkeeping my cannon use the whole time. So, I don't have to make cannonballs myself for a very long time. Alright. Another kill. Oh! Oh my god. Wow, dude. Another one. I'm getting all the elixirs, bro. Jesus Christ, all the elixirs. I think it was one yesterday and now one today. And luckily for me, I have all these uh, spirit shields, so cool. Alright, here's another blessed spirit shield. <laughs> 126 kills in, guys. Oh, yes! Got Onyx bolts. Haven't gotten those in a bit. Damn. 1.5 mil drop. That's uh, like my fifth one. Alright, kill 150 for Mystic Fire Stabs. Oh, yes! I got my cannonballs back for quite a while. This is a pretty big milestone KC, guys. 200 for some soul runes. So, we still got a long ways to go. I've been busting my ass off, you know, killing Corporal Beast for the past few days, and yes, we are. At the 200 KC mark, man. Feels good. So before I tell you guys my plans for the upcoming week, most likely, and the week uh, past that, I'm just going to show you guys, like, currently what's the big drops I've accumulated thus far at the Corporal Beast, you know, approximately 200 kills. 
So I started off with like probably the same amount of cannonballs and I've been using the cannon pretty much you know almost the whole time at Corporal Beast and uh, yeah the drops have basically been able to keep it so I haven't lost really anything uh, I guess all of this is probably from Corporal Beast now all the ones that I made are actually used and of course on the spirit shield side we got two unblessed spirit shield and two blessed ones because the two elixirs that I got on, on the video I put them in the unblessed ones so and the other main big thing is like the onyx bolts so I basically have like no onyx bolts it's 150 a drop right so I probably got seven eight drops of these so far so early in the video I talked about like my average kills uh, per hour which turned out to be around six and the average time it would take me to get like either the spectral or the arcane would probably be around 100 hours about 600 kills I think I do like these odds I'm not even like factoring Elijah into this consideration you know since it's oh my god so many times more rare than the other two so I'd like the odds and this is going to be my plan all right the only PVM I'm gonna be doing probably for like the upcoming week and depending on how much time I have and maybe the week after that is just going to be solely Corporal Beast. I am super, super motivated and determined right now to at least get one spirit show on this character. But there is a limit though. I'm definitely not going to be doing Corporal Beast for the rest of my life because yes, there's still a pretty good chance I could go like a thousand plus KC and still not have a sigil. So I'm going to set myself a reasonable limit and that's going to be 600 KC. So if I get 600 KC and I don't have a sigil by then I will you know go back to doing other bosses I'm gonna switch it up you know I'll do one day God Wars next day like raids and then the day after like uh, Corporal Beast or something we'll mix it up after that but until I hit either the sigil or the 600 KC I'm only gonna be a Corporal Beast you know whenever I have time to not AFK this game I'm gonna be there just killing Corporal Beast Anyways, in terms of video content, I should be able to, you know, update you guys within another maybe four to five days. So the videos won't slow down too, too much. But I hope this gamble pays off. Anyways, if you're new to the series and you want to stay up to date with the shenanigans of this character, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching as usual. And I hope to see you guys soon with another video in I don't know how many days in a few days hopefully all right take care guys